in this video I'm going to show you how to create a line chart or bar chart or any other type of chart that you're looking to create from data that you've already got loaded into an Excel spreadsheet. Hey everyone, Vic here and in this data that you see here it's starting out with dates and weights in both pound and weights in kilograms and this is updated and uploaded automatically from a digital Bluetooth Wi-Fi Renfo scale that I have and the Renfo scale takes all types of body measurements including weight sends it to Google Fit. Google Fit allowed me to download it into an Excel spreadsheet and that's what we're going to use now to create the bar chart. So what you want to do is click on any area within the spreadsheet that doesn't contain data and we're going to make sure that we're on insert we're going to hover on over to this icon here and you're going to see it's insert line or area chart so we're going to click on that and we'll pick a simple 2d chart and you see that we're already done now it already created the data for me and the chart based on the two data fields and you see i'm not really interested in kilograms so i'm going to click on the kilograms and hit the delete key and it's gone now also this doesn't look as visual as it should for 50 pound weight loss so what we're going to do here is we're going to change the x the y axis okay so you could change anything within the chart once you create it by just clicking in that area whether it's a chart area the plot area the what the x axis below or the y axis here so in this case we want to do the y axis so i'll double click and it opens this what you want to make sure you want to make sure that this axis options is highlighted and now we're going to set the minimum i'm never going to go below 170 okay and i never went above 240 so we'll make that 240 and now you see that it's already more visual on um, the changes that were made and you could change and you could resize the chart as you need so this is your basic line chart you can also change the values on the side here as far as to label it as uh, you could put weight you could put dates down here that's all doing the same thing you click in that area and you just update where it's needed now let's go ahead and change the type of chart to a bar chart that some of you may be looking for so back go back on over to insert we'll jump on over to insert column or bar chart and we'll pick a simple column chart all right and again just as easily we can go ahead and create a 3d version or a 2d bar chart and actually switch the x and the y axis data as you can see here and it's more visual that way also but you, you get the drift as to how it works and uh, you could basically move into any other type of chart that you like once you've got the initial chart created i found it's easiest to start with a line chart and then work from there so with that, hope it helps, and I look forward to seeing you on the very next one.